Hi, everybody. I'm Argel Funf, and this is day three of Nancy Drew, Mystery of the Seven Keys. In the previous video, I, I did the puzzle with Ladena's safe, and then the Degas puzzle, which comes right after it. That's not all you need to do on day three of the game. You also need to examine the puppet theater. It kind of makes sense, because Nancy did the puppet puzzle on the previous day, so she's thinking, huh, I'm gonna go back to the uh, puppet theater. Uh, personally, I thought the puppet puzzle was so terrible, I would not return to the puppet theater. I would stay far, far away from it. Excuse me, marionette theater, not puppet theater. So we've got a few things to find here. We have a, a flyer for the for the puppets. We have a script. So this is the script for the play that Nancy did yesterday. And I'm super annoyed with Radic now because he had the script in his wagon the whole time. Oh, why did he force me to do a puzzle with the script if he had the script? <laughs> All right, uh, that's just making me grumpy. Uh, we also want to check out this area, this little table. Wow, that's a big donation. Two important things here. Um, there are only 10 marionettes. Earlier, Radix said he had 12. So what's up with that? Hmm. Uh, yeah, what's going on with uh, puppet number 12? Also, uh, Nancy picked up on this huge donation from Loot Kaji, the internet company. Uh, 250,000. Yeah. Yeah. Those guys must really like puppets. Like... What is up with that? Locked. Uh, this is locked. We're going to use the file to open it. A new story about an ancient group called the Residente. This is a Merix, no, Radix secret script about the Residente. They saved the serfs from poverty. They righted the wrongs of history. Okay, and we just got a text message from Frank and Joe Hardy. That happens uh, once you finish those puzzles with Ladena and you explore the puppet theater. So Frank and Joe are going to talk about the Degas file here. Nancy did uh, go over the Degas file, and they suggest, hey, call Agent uh, Zane. Zane, the hot guy. He knows all about Degas. He should be able to help. Agent Garrett? Yes, Nancy. What can I do for you? So, do you know about the Residente? I just read that name on a piece of paper. Have you heard of the Residente in Prague? The supposed crime ring. So you have. If they are real, it's possible they could be involved. I'll look into it. I hadn't considered that they would be a force in this day and age, but what you're saying makes sense. Hmm, a centuries-old group of criminals? Could they really be the culprits in this case? I was finally able to view the necklace's Dagos file. I got my hands on the physical log from the jeweler, but the timestamps don't match. There was a physical log. Is that unusual? It's the first I'm hearing of it. They only include a physical log if they can't enter into the Degas file system immediately. So it's possible the physical log is accurate, and the Degas file was entered after the fact. Either that, or whoever entered it into the Degas file made a series of mistakes. Vladena doesn't seem that computer savvy, so it's possible. Vladena's log mostly matched the official log. There was a mistake with the date, though. They, they were different. So somebody could have tampered with one of the files here. Anything come up in your investigation that you can tell me about? Actually, yes. Black Market Chatter has been hinting at an upcoming big score in a matter of days. Do you think someone could be after the Crown Jewels? With the numbers they're throwing around, 
I wouldn't rule them out. I don't know how they would steal them, though. They would need all seven keys. Do you know where the key holders are? <laughs> so you've heard the story. I can certainly track them down, but the keys won't be enough. They've added biometric security as well. So the seven key holders are themselves a key? Not all seven. I suspect one would be enough. They need just one of the key holders to disable the security. And what? oh We know one of the key holders! It's Leo! The Dean of St. Vitus is a key holder. He could be a target. Why him, especially? He's planning to leave town so no one will miss him. And no security is protecting his office. I walked right in. I'm taking these threats seriously. I'll call the local authorities. I should go now. It might already be too late. Nancy, be careful. You too, Zane. Now we are going to go to Leo's office and make sure he's okay. Nancy is able to enter the office. I find it weird that she said I was able to walk right in when uh, this is her first time in Leo's office. Uh, previously, the door was closed. So this is the secretary's little room. Secretary. Hmm. Let's see. I need something. Aha! I need this to open up this envelope. My friend, I'm leaving for Rome, but you need to take care of my cat, Mariash. Give her food and water, clean her litter box, pay attention with her every day, make sure she stays indoors, and, and make sure she's very healthy. And uh, if she, like, smashes the books, just, just, just put the books back. Hmm. Let's turn on the computer here. Uh, you need to click on the button and on the keyboard to Looks turn on like the computer. He and Oscar have a history. So, uh, the, the secretary was just looking up uh, Oscar on social media. Uh, here's the flight that uh, Father Leo took. So, it looks like Father Leo left earlier today, 11.35. Actually, I don't know what time it is right now, so maybe he's at the airport leaving now? Maybe? Maybe? Anyway, uh, looks like it's Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Okay. All right. Uh, the secretary is not here right now because the secretary is out on a coffee break. Yeah, see, be right back. I, I'm out for coffee. I'm out for coffee, but I can call him if I want. Not available. Oh! Track down a different lead. He has his phone turned off while he's getting some coffee. Is that a cat meowing? So then we go inside uh, Leo's office. I hope the Dean is available to see me now. Very well, sir. Do you have an appointment? You know very well I do not. You told me you would contact me, and I have heard nothing. Oh, I'm terribly sorry for the misunderstanding. We had this conversation yesterday. The inspection of the Crown Jewels is happening soon, and I must be a part of it. Pity. It does appear the inspection has already taken place, and the Dean has already left for his trip. I want you to record that I came searching for him today. He's aware you came round yesterday, and he apologizes that he could not get back to you before his departure. <laughs> it sounds like the secretary was just messing with Oscar purposely trying to delay Oscar so Oscar would not be able to meet with Father Leo or take part in that uh, examination of the crown jewels. All right, so we have a bowl, we have that. Kind of wish we could open this door. Like, there's got to be something hidden inside this wardrobe. Like, I don't know, a portal to a magical world. More vases. A bunch of numbered books here. Bunch of numbered books on the shelves. Well, the important thing is the cat. The cat is stuck behind this wall. We've got to save the cat. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. We also need to examine the stuff on the desk. Uh, we've got uh, phone calls. Hello. This is Helena Svoboda, 
special event for the office of the president. The president has requested that we conduct the official inspection of the crown jewels immediately, rather than next week. As always, this will be a private inspection with the utmost security. We will be in touch with further details. Osa Neseva. Hello, it's Helena. Special event with a message for the team. The president wanted me to extend his appreciation for your participation in the inspection. And to let you know, everything has passed inspection and the gems are prepared for the upcoming exhibition. Okay, the inspection already happened, uh, according to that message. Good to know. Good to know. And this is just a, a page. The important thing is knowing the Latin word for copper, because that will be a puzzle later on. I hear you want to take the pen and put it into place. That gives us this uh, calendar. Calendar. Yeah, but how do I turn on the computer? Hmm. Yeah, so the inspection was going to take place uh, on the 24th. Today's the 15th, right? Because Father Leo left for Rome today. So uh, they, they moved the inspection forward. But seriously, how do I turn on the computer? Huh. It feels like I should be able to turn on his computer, right? I, hmm, I don't know. Anyway, that poor cat has been meowing long enough. Let's hmm. solve this puzzle. This is no ordinary wall decor. This is a puzzle where you want to move the, the various tiles to match the clues. Like, uh, here's a clue. Here's a clue. You see that? We've got the, uh, square with a cross in it. It's next to a square. It's got a triangle under it. And then there's a sword there. So the square with the cross is actually going to go here in the upper right. A square is going to be next to it. It's going to have a triangle underneath it. And then we're going to have a sword in this spot. In this case, it's square sword. So this clue says uh, the square with a cross uh, has a sword underneath it, then a cross underneath it, and then a triangle underneath it. So this one's going to have to be the cross, and then this one's going to have to be it, the green triangle. And that matches the clue. Uh, another clue is there's a sword above the square crown. All right. And then this one says we've got two crowns and then uh, an octagon, and then we've got a cross underneath. So I think it's this one. And we just need to swap these two tiles. I think. I don't know. Okay, so I I I have some complaints about this puzzle. I think this puzzle's a little too difficult, because I I think this should be a correct answer. We've got the sword above the square crown. Uh that takes care of that clue. Uh, this big clue. Square cross, sword cross triangle that clue is done uh this clue square cross square sword triangle that one's done and then this one crown crown octagon and cross that's all four clues right where, where is my mistake i don't understand it um the mistake is this actually those two needed to be swapped there we go wait a second the bookcase moved. So that's the solution to the puzzle. The solution is the same on Master Sleuth and Amateur Sleuth modes. When you solve the puzzle, you save the cat! Hi, kitty. What were you doing back there? Such a good kitty. Aw, 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 so nice. Uh, more importantly, there's a hidden passage behind the bookshelf. Let's check it out. Leo might be in trouble. I need to report this as soon as possible. Where am I? Ah. So the the spooky, shadowy villain who left that threatening note outside of Apparat, uh, that villain has returned. You can barely see the villain because it's all spooky and, 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 and shadowy, but I think it's supposed to be 
the Dalibor Knight. The creepy knight from the museum. Only this one has a skeleton face. So yeah, where where does it come from even? Ah, oh, he's got the skeleton face, and it, oh, it doesn't really give me time to explore the tunnels. So this is a puzzle. We need to explore the tunnel maze and find the correct exit. I mean, it would be a tough enough puzzle even if we weren't being chased, because I kind of want to explore like these footprints and uh, this card that I picked up and <laughs> I got killed before. You could actually see the card. Sorry about that. It's a challenge in this game. Uh, Leo has just dropped his cards, so you, you can go around the entire game and try to find all the cards. If you do find all of his lost cards, you get an achievement. So uh, this time I'll try to escape from the villain. You go forward here, and then you take a right. Just keep going through the tunnels. Uh, take a right here because you can't go forward. Like normally you could just go forward and that's an exit, but in this case we have to go right. Go through the tunnels. Uh, this door is locked, correct? It's locked, so we have to turn here. Go through the tunnels some more. And this, e this room is probably the easiest to identify because it's like a big open room where you can turn around. Uh, that door is locked. And that door is locked, so we're going to have to go down this hallway. I don't think we can go down here because that's locked. And then that's locked as well. <laughs> oh, there's the knight. Scary looking knight. Oh, no. Uh, I, I'm going to go through here. I'm going to turn. And this is the exit. So, I probably confused everyone. It is a very confusing maze. Oh, here's the other side of that door. And then here's another locked door. So I'm going to purposely get caught in order to demonstrate the maze solution again. I just wanted to show off all of the maze. Okay, so here's the solution. We're, we're gonna go forward here, take the first right. I'm gonna keep going forward. Again, we're gonna take a right. Just go forward, take a left here. And that puts us in the, the big room with the pictures on the wall. Here we take a right, then a left, and another right to the exit. That's how you solve the puzzle and escape from the Dalibor Knight. Dobry den, Dari Policia Czeskie Republiki. I hope you understand English. I'd like to report a possible missing person, the Dean of St. Vitus Cathedral. I was set to meet with him, but he didn't show. Why do you believe he is missing? I went to his office to meet him, and he wasn't there. And I found a secret passage in his office, and his cat was trapped behind it. I noticed one of his playing cards on the ground in the tunnel, but was chased away before I could look any closer by what I assume was a person. A secret passage? Who is this? My name is Nancy Drew. The detective? Yes. I can verify my identity if you'd like. That won't be necessary. The passages underneath the city are not serviced and are very dangerous. Only a few are accessed by tour groups. Recently, floods have destroyed many of the passageways. Uh, do not go back inside. Oh, all right. We will send an officer to the Dean's workplace and home. Thank you. I also found a plane ticket on his desk, and he did mention he was going out of town. Can you check additional records to see if he took a different flight? Yes, we can. Great. That's all I can ask. Would you like to file a report regarding the man who chased you? No. I know something was there, but I would like to keep focus on the Dean. Okay. We will call back this number once we have something to report. That's good to know that the police are looking into it. Hopefully Father Leo just caught his flight and he's on his way to Rome and everything's fine and he, he was not attacked by somebody wearing a uh, skeleton knight costume. 
The police said, hey, uh, don't go back in the tunnels, but you can just turn around and go back in the tunnels. It's safe now. The, the, the evil knight is no longer there. So if you really want to explore the tunnels, now you can. You can. It, it, it's safe now. I think the police officer is wrong, though. The police officer said they would call Nancy back once they uh, have news. In reality, Nancy needs to call the police when it's nighttime. So uh, when it's night, she's going to call them back and uh, get an update on what's going on with uh, Father Leo. You might have noticed as soon as we got out of the tunnels, we got a text message from Adela. And that's going to be our uh, next major storyline. We'll be meeting with Adela in the next video and doing things with her.